Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are one day away from Trophy Titans coming to FIFA 23 Ultimate Team, but EA have already leaked the entire team. We know the players, basically, that are going to be in packs tomorrow and Friday, and we know what players are going to most likely feature in this promo based off of the leaks. Now, we have the car designs in the game. We think we know what this in promo is going to entail. Is it worth opening your packs early? Should you open packs now when Foot Birthday is still in packs, or should you save them for this upcoming promo with just heroes and icons. We'll talk about that in today's video. And of course, today is the last day of Foot Birthday. So with swap tokens ending and probably the last day that EA will be dropping tokens in this game, we got to take a look at the token tracker. And of course, a lot of you guys, myself included, are looking for these last two tokens to drop to finally complete some of our swaps agenda. So we're going to talk about that today and the market with Foot Birthday ending and this promo upcoming. What's going to happen today on Thursday with a lot of stuff going on in this game? Rivals Rewards, Marquee Matchup, Supply, we're going to cover it all today. So if you're excited for the video, hit the thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's take a quick look back at yesterday to Wednesday. Kind of a quiet content day, right? We did have the showdown SBCs and... Taliso, and honestly, let's start with the showdowns because they're right here. W showdown from EA. I do not think the Rusillian card is that good for this stage of the game. I mean, 80 defense, 81 physical um, is really not that great for this card. It's the more expensive of the two. It does provide some very needed links. French links in the Bundesliga are always sought after, especially this card's always pretty good in FIFA. Uh, so that card to me is not worth it as much. I think a lot of us right now are rooting for Dortmund this weekend with Moynier. And the best part about both of these showdowns, whoever does end up winning or if it is a draw uh, you can see here in the text they updated the SBCs because they originally messed up the winner or if it's a tie they will both get a five star five star upgrade so both cards will go to five star five star in the event of a tie but the winner would only get a five five if there is a clear winner at the end of this match I did Moynier I think Moynier with a plus two would be absolutely insane and he's only 37,000 coins so big WEA on the price of this Moynier is so linkable uh, at this time in this game as well with a lot of Dortmund links recently like Hummels and such so I'm really excited for that showdown really excited for that game that is upcoming this weekend and the Taliso SBC to be completely honest is one that I think especially after we had Rob Yo earlier in the week this one just doesn't look as desirable five star weak foot is cool high medium work rates he does have have a Hullet Gang card, center mid, center defensive mid. The card's not bad, guys, by any means, but it just kind of feels mid, especially for the price. I believe he's coming in at like 190,000 coins. Again, especially after Rabio and how insane that card is for the price. I think this one, unless you're running a league on team and you need those links, this guy is not quite worth the the value that the Rabio is in my opinion so kind of a quiet day of content yesterday the 85 times 5 did refresh I did not do that SBC I still might we'll have to see and then we did get the silver stars yesterday and that was where our token was there was one token inside of the win three objectives so we'll talk about tokens a little bit more in the video but that was the content yesterday like we said a pretty quiet day but we did have that loading screen which did give us I guess a little bit of a hint on what cards are going to be coming now the loading screens have been really inconsistent for me I don't even know if it's going to show up so why don't we just go ahead and take a look at the full team that ea leaked yesterday foot sheriff posted this team now there's one player on this team that's on the loading screen that you might be like nate where's the italian center forward we'll talk about that but trophy titans lucio yaya Torre, Junberg, donovan zidane bergkamp Closa, ferdinand essien roberto carlos and Casillas. we looked at a lot of these cards yesterday there are a few new ones though donovan Junberg, Closa, rio was one that we did not see yesterday and then of course on the loading screen we think we see del piero so we'll talk about that but i mean there are some cheaper cards that are in this set but most of this team looks like it's going to be really expensive. Zidane, you can imagine how expensive he is going to be. Lucio, Yaya Torre, Rio Ferdinand, Roberto Carlos Essi, and all of those cards, I imagine, will be over a million coins. Like, three-fourths of this promo team is going to be over a million coins, most likely. Uh, it does depend on the pack weight, of course. That's the biggest question mark with this whole Trophy Titans promo. But there are some nice-looking cards in here. These are predicted stats, I do believe, Chad. I don't think these are the final and full stats. And for these cards, we'll have to see how big of a boost that EA are going to be given these cards. Um, but it just kind of begs the question once again, this promo looks like it's just about uh, icons and heroes. Is there anything else 
coming. That we do not know the answer to still, but uh, I think Sheriff was going to tweet out that this was going to be a mini release of Del Piero, Fernando Torres, and Alam. Um, but Del Piero is on the loading screen, so we would expect Del Piero to be in packs uh, tomorrow on Friday. But Fernando Torres and Lam, those are going to be some pretty cool cards released as a part of this promo. I'm not trying to downplay the hype around some of these icons and heroes. These are going to be big, big cards. He also mentioned that they should have two cards each. And I was assuming uh, that he was referring to like that uh, dual potential mini release like we have right now with, um, you know, the Ganduzi, the Mela, and the Piscina. And now we had last week like with Darwin Nunez, right? Where there's two cards with one having five-star weak foot, one having five-star skills. I don't know if that is going to continue with all of these cards that are coming out, right? That's one of the other questions we have. Is every single card going to have two versions? Is it only the mini release? Um, but Del Piero is not in the mini release, of course, as of course, he is on the loading screen to be released in packs on Friday, as is um, Lucio and Yaya Toure. So you, Lucio, Yaya Toure, going to be in packs uh, this Friday confirmed because they are on the loading screen. We're still a bit kind of fuzzy on some of the details. Maybe we'll figure out some more today, but we it kind of feels like we have the whole promo leaked out here right in front of us. We still have that one leak for the Roy Keane SBC. Not entirely sure what's happening with that, but that's the promo, guys. This is also a two-week promo, so it's kind of crazy uh, that we like have all of the info uh, already, which is kind of wild. The card designs are added into the game, and, and this all happened yesterday on a, on a Wednesday, right? Which is, this is usually stuff that maybe happens on a Thursday, if not, like, until Friday morning do we get the final and full leagues, but it all happened kind of early, which I think kind of hurts the hype for this promo, and again, it seems like it's just going to be a promo that is, that is dropped of really high-rated cards, and it's there's not going to be cards that are on the lower tier, right, for these icons and for these heroes, so we got to talk about the market in that aspect, um, and will people be opening packs and saving packs for this upcoming promo? Man, the way that I see it, I think that I'm going to open my 84 times 40s uh, or 84 times 20s times 2, right? I still have those to be redeemed from swaps. Guys, I think I'm going to open those uh, today or tomorrow before the content drop when these cards, uh, the Titans, come into packs because I feel like I would rather have a chance at packing a big foot birthday player or a foot birthday icon, right? I mean, there's still icons in packs right now as well. Uh, not to gloss over that fact that we have had some in pretty insane icons and in packs, um, but I think I would rather chance it and try to get something sick from a foot birthday promo than I would with these Trophy Titans just because I feel like the luck and the chance that I do get something is going to be so slim. And I don't think there's really going to be a good chance of packing those cards that are in this upcoming promo. So I think I'm going to open the packs beforehand, especially with the Man of the Match cards that are in packs. There's more foot birthdays than there's going to be. It looks like a small team for the Titans promo. It seems like it's just a promo meant for those people with tons and tons of coins. Now, is there going to be something else a part of this promo too? Maybe. And I want to look back at something that was that was talked about yesterday as well, um, I believe, from the FIFA U team account, which this account looks like it's pretty legit with posting leaks, guys. And I got to find it here really fast. I didn't open up the page before, but I believe it's right about right here. Um, three, two, one. I know it's right here. Boom. EA have just added TOTS warm-up content, which currently focuses on the voting. We don't have any more details yet. Stay tuned for more content. If they release this this weekend, this is really going to start to hurt the market because that would mean that team of the season is upcoming very, very soon. And that means we need to look at investing in low-tier fodder for packs that would potentially be packs we would save for team of the season now some of the leaks that we saw before said team of the season voting may not start for another like you know 10 12 days yet that still could be the case we'll have to see but just to keep this kind of in your mind if they would run this trophy titans promo and team of the season warm-up series at the same time starting tomorrow i think that would mean bad things for most of the market even though if this promo is meant for really expensive cards you might think that some of the market could actually go up in price which today i think the market could do pretty well we'll talk about that a bit more i think we could make some potential investments but this is a huge kind of like looming aspect if it does not have anything to do with this weekend then we can probably trade and do a lot of things on the market this weekend and you'll probably won't see too many player prices drop but if this comes out either this weekend or next weekend this will signal a start of a team of the season market crash because it puts the focus on that upcoming big time promo so am i opening packs no or yes i actually am i'm not opening packs for trophy titans i am going to open packs for foot birthday um now let's talk about the market a little bit 
since we kind of know what's upcoming, I feel like the focus is kind of just shifting to uh, maybe some of these full birthday cards and kind of like what's next. While there is a lot of panic selling at the same time, we should definitely need to talk about this. Still, top tier cards on this game. I look at that Erling Holland's Team of the Year card. A lot of your Team of the Year um, icons are down in price. A lot of your birthday icons have dropped in price. Holland was 3.5 yesterday at one point. Um, I, I looked at some of the, the icons from foot birthday even. Uh, like Cantona was down at 3.1 million coins. I do think that some of these icons got very, very low. Oh my goodness, he's even lower now. 3.09 for Cantona at the moment. So a lot of these cards are down low. Eusebio is 8 mil. Wow, crazy. So, I mean, there's a lot of panic on the top tier market for this new promo of big time cards that are going to be dropping. But the rest of the lower tier market is doing pretty good, especially a lot of your links, right? Uh, to like La Liga cards. Like I bought a couple of Cordoba yesterday at like 190 and he is up right now to the little bit into the 200K range. You know, a lot of your links that people are buying right now to put together with their Rabio, put together with some of the SBCs like in Kunku um, and maybe Conte as well that have re re released recently that people are out and crafting. You're seeing some of those prices start to move up and just because most people are not in the, you know, the budget area of having millions and millions of coins where they can just go out and, and buy heroes and icons at their expense. So you're seeing a lot of the low tier stuff on the market do pretty well, but the top tier still getting a lot of panic selling. And that's probably going to continue into this weekend until the promo starts. And then we'll see what kind of goes on from there. But speaking of foot birthdays, today is the day, a Thursday, right? Where we have marquee matchups and division rivals rewards, which does sometimes mean supply and a great opportunity to get in on a few of these cards. Are there any foot birthdays that I would recommend investing in? In honesty, yes, I do think there are a couple of these cards that could do very, very well. Ganduzi is one of them. In the mini release, I like this five-star weak foot version, 450,000 coins right now. I do think he does have potential to rise. I know that we have had Taliso. I know that we have had Rabio and Conte and Nkunku, but this card, guys, is very, very good. Tried him out. I know he's always insane. It's just Ganduzi, right? He's OP in FIFA. If he drops decently low today, it could be a good investment if you're on a bit of a higher budget. I could see him rising in price. Bruno Guimaraes is another one. Hummels is another one I'm interested in. Werner, like there's a handful of players in this foot birthday team that kind of fills some holes that were that were uh, pretty vacant before, right? A pacey Bundesliga striker, a really solid uh, German linking um, Bundesliga center back with Mats Hummels. I think both of the Bundesliga cards right there, Hummels and Werner, have really, really, really good potential in the coming days. Uh, but again, like we said, if the team of the season news, if there are any leaks about team of the season warm-up series starting this weekend, we got to be careful. And I think we probably should not be buying if that is the case. I remember earlier on this year, remember before the promo that we had uh, right after the out of positions promo, it was like the World Cup warm-up series and everything died, right? We lost a lot of coins. I think we mentioned it yesterday as well, uh, but it's just such a vivid memory. Whenever we have these warm-up series promos, the market drops and we have a really good opportunity to invest in fodder because people start saving packs, but it's a lot of those 83s and 84s requirements, which we'll see those go up. So 83s and 84s, they're not super investable like right yet. I think they will drop some today. And I also think they'll drop some over the weekend um, if this content is looking the way that it's going to be. So I don't think we have to invest in these right now. I think you can invest in 83s anytime at like 850 to 900 coins on bid. If you want to do that, that's a fantastic investment. I think we can just wait to see 84s get down to about 3000 coins before we invest the game. We'll talk more about that when there's more confirmed news there. But if you want to try to buy a full birthday card for your team today, marquee matchups, since there will be at least one, maybe two tokens inside of it today, should be a great opportunity and present a great opportunity to invest in some of these cards. Uh, Werner, again, like I mentioned, Alex Tellez, El Shadawi, Ganduzi, uh, even some like, you know, do a club stock, club stock, a piscina, club stock, uh, a melee, club stock, a Simon Kiar, uh, an Onana. I mean, these guys could potentially rise up a bit over time. I do believe that some of the higher rated ones, uh, if they're fodder, like Onana, you know, 27K for an 88, that's up a little bit, right, for fodder in that realm, just a little bit. 86 is at 14, that's not too bad. But, you know, some of these cards are very usable. Five star, five star for Onana. We saw how LaFont did last week. Um, I know he's different as a French keeper, but. Just kind of watch out for some of the foot birthdays today. There could be an opportunity to invest if you want to go for it. I'm going to keep my coins pretty liquid. 
I really am. I think I'm going to stay pretty liquid. I've sold a lot of cards. We've made some good profits. I've been selling my 91s, 87,000 coins, the high tier fodder market. Speaking of fodder, high tier fodder is up even more. And I'm listing these up and selling them at about 87,000 a piece. It is fantastic. It is a big W. I know that Benzema and De Bruyne are both in Team of the Week, which helps their prices even more. But especially the Messies selling now at 87,000 coins. I think it's a fantastic time to get out on some of those cards. If EA were to drop a massive surprise, like this 90 plus pack like guys this pack i know is a really big scare factor right now for a lot of people 90 plus prime icon team of the year icon or foot birthday icon it is uh added to the code tweeted by foot sheriff tweeted by fifa u team the only people who have not tweeted yet is foot scoreboard and usually icon packs like this if it's a pack do get added into the code of the game so we will see if that does happen but this more so looks like it could be dropping on Sunday when the hero player pick would most likely go away um, but the hero re player pick does still refresh tomorrow could EA drop this today maybe but I think they would want to make uh, this more of like a Sunday type of SBC we'll just have to see it is out there it is something that we expect to see come soon and that is a massive massive pack right there but not really something we can invest for at the moment especially I'm just taking this advantage to sell my fodder with the supply for marquee matchups and rivals today now marquee matchups like i mentioned i need to do marquee matchups from this last week because there are not one but two tokens in this sbc and there's probably going to be two again today if you are tracking tokens right two tokens in there this last week right now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the swaps tracker we are on token number 31 the silver stars token that was dropped yesterday was token 31 out of 33 34 we thought we maybe were going to have 34 EA have put out three store packs, though, over the course of Foot Birthday. So technically, they told us we're going to get 30 tokens and bonus ones would be in the store. So two tokens today would put us to 33, which would then be 30 tokens through objectives and through SBC. So we need to see two today. I'm going to get marquee matchups done. Go open my 84 times 20, and we should be pretty good to go uh, on this. But if you want to use this website to track where your tokens are at, and if you're deciding today whether to open your packs or what to still choose from swaps, because I know some of you guys like to get all the swap tokens, and then, of course, go and choose uh, for a reward what you want to go ahead and get. Use this website right here. I'll put the link down below in the description to check that out. I am currently on my grind. I already did the 85 times 10. I am grinding for the second squad of the 10 tokens right i got this one first and, and filled up i got to finish out this next squad and then we will be good to go to open an 84 times 40 since i'm crafting um yeah, since i am crafting the Nkunku sbc still i'm gonna get this thing done and i'm gonna open my 84 times uh 40 i'm gonna craft in Kunku, and then maybe we'll see what else i want to craft if i want to maybe do like yeah, of course the moinier i would like to do pedro i hear sounds really really good in game maybe i'll do an 85 times five maybe a year in review we'll see how much i can get done i also have not done too many 80 plus triple upgrades would this be a promo that you would want to save triple upgrades for uh, yes, maybe, because technically that is one of the draws to this promo is that, uh, you will have the heroes and the icons will be packable via normal upgrade packs since they're promo cards. So that's a whole different situation as well. And something that we have to kind of look out for and realize, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's going to be very interesting to see today what EA update with the loading screen. And if we get any new news or information, I really think there's got to be something that EA are going to do tomorrow for this promo for the lower budgets, right? Like, it just seems like this is going to be an L promo with everything related to the top tier budgets in this game with icons and heroes. Or EA are going to do something kind of crazy and and change it up i don't know we're gonna have to see but uh we're still watching prices on the market there have been some really good fluctuations this year rente went up almost 100k ruben diaz went from 760 all the way to 820 mateus uh went up a lot zanetti is still low there were a lot of fluctuations yesterday that you could have traded in Mar martinelli was up 40k desai went up so watch the market today i think it will be a pretty good area to trade in especially as people are going to go play qualifiers today since ea gave out quality points there is gameplay demand out there so good luck luck if you're listing if you're buying if you're selling all that good stuff and uh yeah we'll see if we get any more news for tomorrow but that is the video for today guys if you did enjoy it, smash thumbs up on a comment level if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you are new it's been nathan account see you guys in the stream today peace out